Decoding the Cat Conundrum, a Dr. Rosie DVM guide to understanding and preventing feline bladder blunders. Today, we're getting to the bottom of your cat's bladder health. Because let's face it, when kitties got urinary woes, they can turn into a whole new cat. This is about as enjoyable as passing a kidney stone, a real pee stopper. Bladder stones in cats can be a real pain, both literally and figuratively. Stay on the lookout for this condition. X-rays or ultrasounds of the urinary bladder can help spot these stones, some of which may require a little surgical evicting. Ah, the dreaded UTI, urinary tract infections, are a major player in lower urinary tract issues for our feline pals, bringing them loads of discomfort and distress. Plus, they can even pave the way for those pesky bladder stones to form. Watch out for the boys. Male cats with their slender urethras are especially prone to life-threatening blockages from UTI debris, stones, or blood clots. If you catch your male kitty straining to pee, it's a red alert for immediate veterinary care. Stress isn't just a mental hassle for cats. It can play tricks on their bodies, mimicking UTI symptoms and wreaking havoc on their urinary health. Stress can even lead to ulcerations and intense pain in the bladder or cause urine to become seriously bloody. When a cat opts for the floor over the litter box, it's not a rebellious streak. It's often a distress signal. They're associating pain with the litter box and simply want to avoid hurting. Recognizing these signs and taking swift action can spare your cat from severe pain or worse. A blocked cat, unable to urinate due to an obstruction, can develop kidney failure and dangerous electrolyte imbalances leading to death within just 48 hours. Cat Stress Busters 101, a guide to keeping your feline cool as a cucumber. I've got a whole kitty caboodle on feline behavior on my website, but today we're all about feline cystitis. Stressed out cats, when stress hits, bladders get sassy. Watch out for the inflammation showdown, pus parties, and urethra obstructions. So how do we keep the zen? meeting your cat's physical and emotional needs while easing their pain. Physically, indoor-only cats need to have proper play and exercise to keep stress at bay. They may prefer bird toys or laser pointer, but finding your cat's passion for play is a necessity in getting cortisol levels down. Cats are connoisseurs of comfort. They prefer their own litter boxes and opt for unscented, low-dust clay litter. The golden rule of litter boxes, one more box than you have cats. I have three furry tyrants, so I'm rocking six boxes. Why? Because my stressed out male decided he's an abstract artist and the walls were his canvas. If you catch your cat turning the house into a personal bathroom or having turf wars with their furry roommates, it's not just a bad habit. It's a plea for assistance. Reach out to your veterinarian right away. They might be dealing with serious discomfort or a case of feline drama that rivals a soap opera. Spotting cat aggression is tricky. They're masters of passive-aggressive behavior. It could be as subtle as nudging another cat out of their cherished napping spot. Check out my video and website for all you never knew about feline toilet etiquette. Visit me at drrosiedvm.com. Be there or be square.